Uh, well, it is. I'm at Eccleston Church, very close to Croston. I found some Hodges, some House, Critchley, Rigby. But I don't know if they're related. Just thought I'd do a small video because then I've done this church basically. There's some I've missed. Um, I've seen some Critchleys and I've seen a Heaton as well. Oh yeah, Hyam. I think there was one Hyam and Dickinson. Yes, I've got some of those. So I've got some of the names and an Astley. I can't remember where I've seen the Critchley now. These are all relatively new, these ones. All the old ones are at the front. There's an Easter service going on. It's Good Friday today. It's April the 18th, 2014. And this is my first video up in Lancashire for Zara. But of course I'm a bit tired, so I've missed a few things out. Um, as I've just had a five hour drive. Believe it or not, I've just had a five hour drive. <laughs> I've seen the church, I couldn't resist it. I can't remember where the Critchley graves were I've seen now. I think they're further back over. So anyway, I'm just doing a little video while I'm here. Um, Yeah, I've just driven up from Somerset on the M6. It was really, really busy. Um, crawling for miles and miles and miles. I found a really big one over there of a Worthington. One of those great big slabs over there is a Worthington, a Robert Worthington and his wife, which I've taken photos of and which I will analyse. Like I said, I'm quite tired actually. But I couldn't resist coming in here. I just couldn't resist it. Riding is another name. And Worthy, it's Arthur Worthington up there. I've taken photographs. There's lots of moons here, by the way, as well. See here, and Baxendale, that's another one. Here we've got Christopher Robert Baxendale, who died in 1938, aged 38. There's Baxendales in the family, further back in the tree. And ridings as well. There's a Worthington, there's Arthur, over here. Arthur Worthington died 9th of January 1939. Looks like someone's been lying down on here as well. And his wife Alice. There's a Rigby over there, Hugh Rigby. Died January the 30th, 1934, age 79. I've got Rigby's in there. On here somewhere. Yeah. Of course, you've got to be sensitive to people coming to visit their family, you know. I don't know where that Critchley one's now. I'm a bit tired for doing the whole thing again. I wanted to go inside the church, but there's a service on. And you can... Probably there won't be, the church probably won't be open on another time, you see. Ah, oh, there's a Critchley over here, look. William Critchley died March the 1st, 1974, aged 75 in 
Alice Critchley, died the 6th of May 1978 or 79. So there are Critchleys here as well and they could be related. And up there there's a, ha a couple of hows. There's a little church hall there, looks pretty new. Bit of red sandstone. I don't know how old the cross is there that in memory of the men that died here. I've just done a small video. <sighs> yeah, I think I've done enough for today. I might have to pop back here. There's a, there is a car park. I think I will go and find the campsite now because I'm really tired actually. But I don't really want to spend the whole afternoon sat in um in a camper van, see. I'm I miss I'm I'm starting to feel homesick already. Uh. Yeah, over here we've got some a Hyam, Mary Phyllis Hyam, born 15th of August 1922 and she died 93, could be related. I haven't looked at the uh, Creme yet because there's lots of people around there and I always feel a bit embarrassed. So what I'll do, it would be nice to go in the church, I must admit, I don't know how long this service is going to go on for. I might go back in the car, have a drink of water and a crunchy or something. It's better be open all day. What day is it? Oh, it's, yeah, there we go. Here we got Rolf Howe, November 1929, age 36, and Margaret Alice Howe, his wife. She died 1974, age 77. There. I'm going to get out yet. It's a very difficult place to reverse. I can't really reverse out. Um, I'm going to go back in the van for a minute. 